I think sometimes there's nothing better than hanging out with your mates, playing couch co-op and having a good laugh, although admittedly, it doesn't happen very often these days. So when I saw Manic Mechanics was announced at the most recent Nintendo Direct, I put it straight on my wish list. This past weekend I managed to sit down with my wife and children and sink a few hours into some couch co-op fun. Manic Mechanics eases you into its wild and wacky world with a story mode that follows the player on their journey to become the best mechanic. The story flows through individual islands run by different mechanics and increases in difficulty with each level. Each new island's mechanic adds a new feature and gameplay elements that keep that difficulty curve rising in a fun and challenging way. While the narrative may be shallow, it's not really that sort of game that would benefit from a more in-depth story or lore and the minor exposition delivery allows you to get straight into the fast-paced gameplay sooner. The game is presented with great graphics and effects which make the manic and hectic action play out really well in both handheld and docked. Cars slide into the production area with sparks flying and paint gets spilled from the spray booth and tires inflate and pop off their stations with colourful effects. The characters and environments are bright and colourful and it's easy to navigate despite the chaos that ensures with four mechanics running around trying to build a car, which is where the real fun begins. The game takes cooperative play to the next level as you and your friends have to coordinate and plan to get as many cars fixed as possible. Each station has its own minigame attached to it such as sweeping the spray gun left to right or mashing X to inflate a tyre. At first you'll think you have this mechanic business down pat until the later stages start adding things like charging batteries or combining those batteries with old engines to make electric engines, which is a good nod to going green. Even to the extreme of repairing cars in a bowling alley where the bowlers can not only hit you with a spare but score a strike on your car, knocking parts off and progress off it as well. While this may seem frustrating at first, it's great environments like this that make the game such a blast to play. And they keep that gameplay loop exciting by slowly introducing these increasingly difficult gameplay elements. While four players shine, solo play can be a bit lacking, although that's the nature of the beast. You wouldn't really play Mario Party solely, and that's certainly the case here. My kids and I played some solid session and it really held their attention as there was something fun to do for everyone. And every job feels equally important. My five-year-old daughter enjoyed mopping up the workshop and it was important to keep the workflow going as spills cause accidents and slow you down. It's this sort of accessibility that helps make Manic Mechanics a joy to play and it can also be played on a single Joy-Con as well. All in all, Manic Mechanics is a solid package at an affordable price. There's plenty of frantic fun to be had with a bunch of mates or your family for an evening co-op session. There's also going to be plenty of laughs probably a few arguments, and definitely an evening well spent. So, what's it like? It's like a cross between Car Mechanic Simulator and the wonderful Overcooked. I give it an 80 out of 100.